Hi everybody. It's two o'clock in the morning. Day six going into day seven of juice fasting. Wonderful experience. Thank you, John Rose, for all the advice and everything. I did lose a little bit of weight. You can see it in my face. I'm a little bit more skinny, but don't worry. This will I'll build this up again, you know, and also like, you know, my arms are a little bit <laughs> back into the stick mode. But at the same time, you know, like I um I hit a little problem, health problem and I want to fix it. So, you know, juice fast is the easiest way to get there, right? So I want a little blab around a little bit. I want to tell you about our summer. Hopefully you was good and you're safe and everything. For us, it was a little bit turbulent because we really wanted to go to my homelands where basically, you know, Croatia and Slovenia. My parents live in Slovenia, but Croatia, I consider that's where my parents came from. So I still consider it home and I've been there for, you know, 46 years every summer without an exception, almost even when I lived in New York City, I would travel to Croatia just for sun and islands and it's just incredible. And Slovenia, of course, as well. But um, yeah, so we traveled from Barcelona all the way across the whole south of France, whole Italy, stopped in Portofino and then went through the on the other side of Slovenia and then drove to Croatia to the town called Šibenik, which is gorgeous, 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 and spent time there, like basically boating and having really a lot of fun with my family. Um, but uh, yeah, one thing I have to tell you, which really, really saddened me, um, first of all, people are very awake in Croatia and Slovenia and Italy as well. Spain, France, not so much, I would say, just based on my impression, but there's exceptions to the rule, of course. But like, um, I was really, really sad because every three kilometers, I would see antennas for modern, you know, modern communication um, system. And I have to tell you that the ride was not the same as always, you know, and I will do a video about that, you know, how to protect yourself from mother communication radiations and so on. But um, I have to tell you who has money. Like I was just wondering who has money for all these antennas, who has money for all this, you know, setup that they did, but that on the side, it's going to be another video about this. I really want to like, because a lot of people are asking me about it. I did uh, little posts, you know, I'm also beside everything else blocked for 30 days on Facebook for um, talking about the Berlin protest. Um, and they basically said I was endangering lives with my post about the Berlin protest. My friend told me it was about over three and a half million people over there, basically families in the park and so on. Uh, the media, massive media is just basically reporting something completely else. And um, it is sad that we live in this world where the lies and the fear are dominating everything. But to go to our topic, not to ramble too much, and also something I really want to talk to you about, because even with my clients, it comes up, you know, um, and, and, and that would be fish. And why is fish not healthy foods? Okay, so let's dive into that. I have a list for you, what you should, you know, if you have to talk to somebody, what is your talking points? And also we have so many problems because of too much fishing and so on. And yeah, and I've been inspired basically by um, Erkling Ed. Of course, his video is fantastic. He really touches these topics really well, but I wanted to make something really short for you. And also because I just wanted to like be able to like, you know, to send you if I need to talk to somebody so I don't talk for a whole hour about this, but go into the topic very easily with the video. All right, let's dive in guys. Here's the list. I'm a huge fan of ocean, obsessed, okay? And this news of Miley Cyrus basically saying, you know, you probably read this, watched it, heard it already, you know, just saying that she quit, she quits, <laughs> she quit a plant-based diet because, you know, supposedly she had to, uh, basically, let me just quote actually, because I have it written. I had to introduce fish and omegas into my life because my brain wasn't pro properly functioning. I mean, okay. Okay, 
she has a problem, health problem. Let's not undermine this, you know, I respect that, you know, and she came out with that. But like vegans, true vegans never stop being vegans. It's because veganism is about ethics. It's never about cuisine and food only. So when somebody comes up with this, sorry, Miley, like, come to me, I'll do, I'll be your nutritionist. I'll be your vegan nutritionist for free if you want to, you know, that's one thing. And another thing like, um, you know, fish is like one of the most toxic and most mucus forming things you could eat. And it's really going to damage your body beside dairy, probably the worst on the list, you know? Um, so one thing is like, you know, people throw around this word veganism, you know, also in like all these stupid channels where it's like vegan deterioration, anti-vegan, all this stuff. People basically like, it's insane to me that somebody can be stepping up. Like they're basically doing PR for meat and dairy industry that spends billions of dollars, billions of dollars into like pushing these foods that are not really foods, pushing these corpses and secretions and, you know, uh, periods of other earthlings on people that they should eat this, that this is just healthy, which is so untrue because the modern science is completely supporting veganism. But okay, the fish. All right. Fish contains the most mercury, heavy metals, nanoplastic, particles okay artificial hormones horrible parasites guys i mean it couldn't be worse so it's all the chemicals that's used in farming from other like industrial farms you know all the pesticides all the insecticides all the herbicide everything finished in the sea and this is what poor little sea animals have to live in all right so let's talk about the mercury, okay? So I don't go too much into the oh, animals, animals, right? Mercury and heavy metals in general will speed up the aging, will speed up the brain degradation. You know, if you're gonna eat fish, they actually, there's a sign supporting people that eat fish on a daily basis, that they have more likelihood to have Alzheimer's, to have all kinds of problems, you know, with dementia and so on. You know, so it's actually the opposite, right? To what is she claiming? And then another thing is like, I mean, even allopathic doctors recommend to pregnant women, don't eat fish, don't eat sea life while you're pregnant. So how is it then on the other side that all of a sudden fishes and sea life is healthy foods you know this is insanity on one side we're saying don't eat this because it's going to damage your your future baby and your neuro neurological system and the other side people are trying to market fish as a healthy food crazy right as most animal products fish contains primarily saturated fat in complex proteins that our bodies have really hard time digesting just like other meats you know it takes like 24 hours or more to digest basically animal products from dairy eggs and like especially meat right uh, fruits take only one hour max one hour to digest in our body so what are we supposed to eat right carnivores they eat the meat and poop it out in 10 minutes and take all of it out of out of the meat but like, we are not made that way. We're not carnivores, we're frugivores, guys. You know, and watch actually, thank you freely for like such amazing, like funny videos. You know, I've been enjoying your new channel a lot and laughing a lot, you know, it's like, you're great. So anyways, like, so what happens, right? This meat is stagnating in your digestive system for 24 hours and more. It's obstructing your digestive system. Also your kidneys, your liver, everything has to work super hard to basically break apart all these like you know proteins complex proteins and fats into like something that actually our body can really use so that's another thing and then instead of you know all this energy and and functioning you know with like for instance with fruits you get all this energy and you know you can function way faster your brain gets all the supplies all the nutrition all the vitamins everything one two three you know drink this i'm gonna be look how hyper i am and it's again what 2 30 in the morning you know what i mean Mm. So, on top of it, all these processes are creating tons of mucus, tons of, tons of very acidic uh, environment for your cells that they can mutate and get damaged then. All right, what is damaged or mutated cells? Cancer, you answered it. All right, so let's go next. So the third part would be third thing that I really have to bring up. Fish get their omegas from algae, algae in the sea. 
all right? You can skip the whole meal, man, you know, when go eat your algae. And if you're so worried about your omegas, you know, or even better, you know, get get like, you know, flax seeds, um, get the walnuts, whatever. And it's so this is like walnuts and, and flax seeds and algae are basically superior source of omega-3 amino acids, you know? So another thing that I have to mention, you know, all these omega supplements, so basically like fish oil and all this stuff, it's long-term, it, it might help you a little bit for a while, but then long-term, it's really gonna damage, you know, your body. And check out my video on deficiencies and supplements. I'm gonna post it below into the, you know, link, so you can also check that out. So another thing that we really have to mention and really be real about this, Okay, Miley was or is, I don't know, you know, an addict. We we know that. She's she's it's it's just she's a victim of her celebrity life since she was a child. And she took so many drugs. She took, you know, she was drinking so much alcohol. I even read on some internet sources that she was alcoholic. I don't know, you know, I don't know everything. But you know, if you stop taking drugs, if you stop drinking, what's gonna happen? Your brain is gonna work, my darling. You know, that's like it makes sense, right? And I think on Joe Rogan's show, actually in this interview, you know, she actually even said that her dad was like on a motorcycle when she was a baby, dropped her or something like that and damaged her brain. So what this has to do with like vegan diet, actually, you know what? The plant-based diet, darling, would help you heal, especially fruit, you know, tons of berries will help you heal your brain, regenerate your nerves, your brain, your everything. You can do it, girl. You can do it. But the other direction, go back where you came from, back to the plant base and a little bit higher. Go to the fruit, go to the vegetables, you know, this, this stuff. Raw, 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 you know. You can do it, Miley. You can do it. Um, so I, one thing that then it came into my mind is basically longevity. Longevity. So if you think about it, if you look at the blue zones, right, where do people live the longest, healthiest lives, like uh, especially come to mind Sardinia because it's incredible how many people over there live over, you know, 100 years of age. And it's like, it's very, the longevity is very directly correlated to the consumption of carbs, right? They eat a lot of grown, uh, locally grown organic fruits and vegetables and, you know, grains, basically pastas, you know, very little protein, very little fats. So in what they discovered, the fewer proteins people consume, healthier they are and longer they live. So that protein myth, doesn't, you know, protein is basically like a killer of a modern human, I feel, you know, especially animal protein, right? All right. So of course there's other factors. Okay. Let's not be, let's be real, right? Like this also sun, enjoying little things in life, living in a moment that I talk about living in the now, you know, the power of now, check that uh, book by Eckhart Tolle, of course. And then also like movement, you know, long walks, biking, enjoying movement every day, spend at least, like I always repeat and repeat to my clients, 45 minutes to one hour walk every day with deep breathing, enjoying the birds singing, you know, don't play on the phone, please. But you know, this is something that is extremely healing. Um, and then, then of course, you know, wonderful community, active life, you know, of course that all helps, but consuming fish, is not beneficial to for anybody, you know? And on top of it, our oceans are gonna be empty by 2048 if we keep on, you know, fishing, overfishing, and really, you know, because fishing does not just catch the fish, right? There's byproduct, you know, there's birds dying from it, there's turtles dying from it, there's, there's uh, sharks and dolphins catching in this nets and dying. So, guys just drop it you know just drop all this animal products seriously make it easier on you so let's come to something that is very close to my heart which is basically do you know that some fish are even smarter than dogs smarter than dogs you know and it, this is also very interesting because Mylene's mentioning and like i remember a couple of years ago she was saying that she went actually vegan plain based not really vegan but plain based because her fish, blowfish, would always, when she would come home, jump and celebrate and be happy, you know, for her that she came home. And then somebody, she starts eating fish immediately after some health problem appear. 
I don't understand this, you know, like I actually, honestly, I know that meat and dairy industry have new tactics of advertising and they find like people give them a lot of money who can really influence, you know, and turn a lot of people who are plant-based or even vegan, you know, try and push them into other direction. So remember they have billions and billions and billions they're spending every freaking day on false advertising that goes against the science, same as tobacco industry used to do. And and basically, like, what are we doing? You think animals pay me here to, to say, protect the animals and don't eat animal products? Of course not. But this is, this is where you have to understand, you know? Money, no money. The truth normally comes with no money, right? And the lies and the manipulations come with a lot of money. I think this whole situation that is happening right now in the world, you know, with all this virus and so on is a pure manipulation, you know, inflicted with fear and lies and a couple of massive, a couple of rich people are making massive amount of money right now. So remember that, you know, so trust your gut, trust your instincts, you know, like you trust, you know, like you, like you trust, into the good right what is good killing no good living living you know like fruits that are actually taken from the from the tree full of electric energy no completely compassionate basically fruit gives us gives us it falls on the ground even gives you the fruit you don't kill the plant so think about that, you know, what is the optimal food for somebody like humans? Humans are naturally the most, you know, spiritual, most loving, most giving human, you know, animals, not, not animals, but like living being on this planet, you know, stick to your core, who you really are, feed your soul, right? All right, I'll come to that again. But you know that like fish, they scream, they cry, they beg for their lives when we pull them out of the sea. And because our hearing is not developed enough, we don't hear them. We don't hear the screams they're begging, you know? They also, they love their babies. You know, they recognize their faces. They turn, like they create a family. This is, this is not, you know, they feel the pain, the suffering, they love everything. Like, come on guys, they have the eyes. You know, so they, they have, they're similar to us. Why would you want to eat this, you know? All right, so yeah, so this this is basically it, but I have to do like, please let us be compassionate, ethical, conscious, high vibrational humans connected to our creator, in tune with our souls, guys. You know, be you, right? Feed your soul. Don't embarrass, like, don't be something that goes against this deep, deep, deep moral and ethical things that we were born on this place. We love animals. We love plants, you know? So be compassionate to all of it, you know? And also, like, let us eat, like, the living, full of energy foods, not decomposing, rotting corpses of the suffering innocent animals. Consuming animal products, sadly, equals always animal abuse. You cannot avoid that, right? And you cannot love animals and eat them. Sorry, guys, it doesn't work that way. Or, or eat their secretions or periods, you know? Because as long as we hurt, as long as we exploit, as long as we murder other earthlings on this planet, guys, we will not experience true peace or love or heavenly potential that this planet Earth has for all of us, for all of us, you know? Let it be fish, let it be, you know, all the humans everywhere, right? I can talk about this for a very long time, but let me add just for the for the last little chapter, last, last little input, you know, the only food that enables our body to truly heal our fruits. All right, our original fruit, original food. You know, when you look at the Bible, when you look at the old scriptures, you think that, let's say, whatever the higher spirit on who created us, he was munching on like bodies of other beings. I don't think so, right? If in Bible even it says in paradise, what did they eat? They ate fruit. All right, simple as that. And I'm, I'm a Gnostic person, but I love, I'm very interested in all these like, you know, organized religion scripts and writings and stuff. And, you know, based on everything I know, the first Christians were basically vegans. And then the Rome kind of switched that around and kind of added little things in the name of the prophet because the 
butchers in Rome, they were making a lot of money for the rich guys. And so they changed a little bit, you know, here and then, you know, a little text in the Bible and kind of spread that as the true word of Jesus, which is we know it's not because Jesus was pure love and pure love does not cause harm. Um, you can basically, after a few years on the fruit, right? You, nobody says you have to be like fruitarian for the rest of your life. But you can always go back to the wholesome plant-based diet once you clean up your issues. Despite the fact I have to tell you, I love the raw, you know, the raw plant-based diet, high fruit diets, uh, or even just fruitarian for life. If you want to be, you do it. If it works for you, you know, you can be without a problem, you know, but let's, let's like not lower our vital living energy force by consuming and going back to consuming suffering and torture and death. It just doesn't make sense, right? And I, I gotta tell you, I'm vegetarian six, 46 years, you know, and vegan is almost 29 years. And also my whole family, my whole friends, family, you know, most of my friends actually, coworkers, you know, people that I help, most of you that come to me, they're already, you know, enlightened and awake and you know, compassion is the way, right? But, you know, our whole family, my whole family was healed with, with this way, right? With, from, from cancers, from thyroid disorders, from lung, heart issues, you know, even CV19. I keep, well, I'm going to say it because, you know, I don't want to be censored or anything. But yes, you know, and Dr. Morris Norwich, you know, look into his book. You know, you don't have to, you know, you don't have to watch all the videos, but definitely like Miracle Detox book. I recommend it by Dr. Robert Morris. I really recommend it. And we call him Dr because this guy is saving so many souls and helping so many and i also love john rose you know and and you know and also freely because of the ethical part of it and because of the you know she's a modern young woman and i love that i love watching her shows so i recommend check these these people out um and um you know, this is why I believe in this. This is why I do this for the last five years. This is why I dropped my high paid job in advertising and I started helping people for way less money. But like, honestly, guys, sometimes we got to listen to the heart, right? You know what I mean? We got to listen to the heart in everything we do. And with education, lifestyle change, self-love, you can all do it too. You can heal any problem you have. You can heal it, okay? Believe me, our bodies are just this, you know, self-healing, you know, a miracle, magic things, you know, like everything else in nature. Our bodies will not self-destruct. Our body will always want to heal, get better, you know, fix the problems in there. Just, you got to just give it the right fuel. And, you know, and another thing, like by healing yourself, you're healing the planet, you're healing, you're healing the world, you know, you're lifting the consciousness up for everybody. So thank you for all of you that are on this path again and again and again i appreciate you i love you you know all the ethical vegans that are standing up for other earthlings and for love and for compassion uh, and you know for all of you that you want to join us you want to come to the you know want to cross over to the plant-based diet you want to cross over to fruitarian or raw vegan diet i'm here for you contact me pm me i'll be very happy to help and um yeah subscribe of course subscribe to the channel even if i I'm, I'm trying to make every month one good quality video and i'm gonna push myself a little bit more but you know saving people then making cute little videos you know and i like to blab around clearly this is like such a long video now but i love you all and i'll see you soon okay love you bye bye